I'm Dick Bateman, Geography Convener at BRLSI, and here are two geographical studies of hidden nature. The first one is of erosion surfaces, evidence of past sea levels hidden in plain sight from any view in this area. And the second one is rivers which are continually undermining riverbank trees, something that only people who are used to looking at the same spot over years will notice. They're both geographical studies that I've given at Saltford Festival and I've pinched them for BRLSI. Take this spectacular view for instance, showing the River Avon Valley between Bristol and Bath from the top of the Cotswold Hills looking south to the Mendip Hills in the distance. The river below us, the River Avon, is just 10 metres above sea level, almost at current sea level. And for those people who've done their homework on this uh, wonderful area and have built on the researchers of scientists over the years, there is plenty of evidence that the landscape of this part of Somerset has been formed by movements of the earth and of sea level over the last four million years. It's hard to believe that the flat plateau on top of the Mendip Hills, which is now 300 metres above sea level, was at sea level four million years ago, but it's true. Rivers had worn down the hills that were there before to a vast low-lying plain of solid rock just above the sea level. And then plate tectonics, the same plate tectonics that drove Africa into Europe and folded up the Alpine mountains, also forced up that Somerset Plain 300 metres upwards to form the plateau of the Mendip Hills as we see it today. I've marked out here with white horizontal lines two other erosion surfaces which uh, are in the distance, the two highest up on the slide, but I can't find any research to show how old they are, so I'm going to leave those out. The lowest of the three, however, has research done on them, uh, done on, on it, and it's at Saltford's version of the Ham Green Terrace, which has had a lot of uh, research done, not least by looking at marine isotopes in the gravels that cover the surface. We know that although now it's 50 metres above sea level, it was at sea level half a million years ago. And lower down, the Stidham Terrace, which is uh, extends to our right to the west um, to form part of the Avon Country Park. That's now 25 metres above sea level. And we know from marine isotope work that it was at sea level 300,000 years ago when there were woolly rhinos and uh, mammoths roaming around this area. This is what the Stidham Terrace looks like now on the Clive Shipley's airfield. See if you can spot the llama. And down almost in the bottom of the valley is Saltford's version of the Bath Hampton Terrace, again where a lot of research has gone on. It's um, this version of it, Saltford's version, is 15 metres above sea level and we know it was at sea level 100,000 years ago before the last ice age. The last ice age um, took place from 100,000 years ago to just 10,000 years ago, virtually a click of fingers in geological time, and lots of the seawater was then precipitated onto land. It was very cold, so it formed snow and ice and didn't run back into the sea, so the sea level fell. So 
10,000 years ago, the sea level was much lower than it is now. But then, 10,000 years ago, the ice began to melt. The southern edge of the ice sheet was round about where the M4 is now, we believe. And all that water flooded into the River Avon Valley and brought with it huge amounts of gravel, silt and sand, deposited them all offshore in the River Severn and of course a lot in the valley, building up the valley. And the water that brought it down caused the sea level to rise up again. And now the current floodplain, just shown on the little horizontal line by the river, is at 13 metres above sea level, almost now at sea level. So if we were to plot those erosion surfaces on a graph, we'd see that the Mendips out on the left, up at the top there, that's 4 million years ago BP before the present, and that's at 300 metres. Then there's the two that I haven't found any uh, research on. Then the Ham Green one, 300,000 years ago before the present. The Stidham Farm Terrace, 200,000 years ago before present. The Bathampton Terrace, just 100,000 years before the last ice age. And then we're down just above sea level at the current floodplain level. And here are all of those surfaces which show nature and the past levels of the sea for those people who know how to look. From the Mendip surface up at the top, through the Hunter's Rest Ridge by the pub, the Hunter's Rest, fine pub it is, Colston Farm Ridge, where I couldn't find any information. Then the Ham Green Terrace. Ham Green is out near Shirehampton, uh, the other side of the river, south of the river from Shirehampton. But that's where the research is done, and this is Saltford's version of it. Then the Stidham Terrace, and although Bathampton is a long way from here, uh, this is the equivalent of the Bathampton Terrace in Saltford, 10 metres or maybe, sorry, 15 metres above sea level uh, and was at sea level 100,000 years ago. And here we are with a current floodplain level, which is 13 metres above sea level. So there's some of the uh, research sources that I found. Uh, and uh, if you like this sort of stuff, good hunting. My second example of nature hidden from plain sight is how rivers undercut riverbank trees. And this is an example from the River Avon in the shallows in Saltford. This is a view in 2012 that I took from the Midland Bridge in Saltford, uh, just a nice day, and I thought I'd take a photograph with a cattle wandering down to the cattle dip on the left and it was only later that I realized that uh, I could turn this into a little bit of a geographical point. So I've numbered trees one, two, three and four as you can see over on the left hand side and the question is this is the outside bank of the river what is happening over on the right hand bank and what was happening was erosion. That's what happens in geography textbooks and guess what? It happens in real life as well. Now here is an example of tree three which had almost fallen into the water before it was rescued to be cut up and uh, for, for wood and there's some of the branches there. Some of the branches fell off into the river and the main stem fell off, the main trunk fell off into the river and 
some of the branches were uh, kept back and cut for uh, timber and there they are on the bank but look at tree four that's been undercut and that's just about to fall into the river and if we look at the same view in 2014 tree four is almost now in the river trees one and three have gone and only tree two stays upright this is what's happening on river banks on the outside of river curves all over the country and it's very rare that people see them so nature hidden from plain sight and that's the end of hidden nature hope you've enjoyed it